Stocks and shares in China have dipped on the average by 8% following the outbreak of the coronavirus. The Chinese government is expected to pump in $173 billion, the biggest single monetary injection in the history of the country. General Secretary of Guta, Nana Poku, says the closure of factories in China will not significantly affect the traders in Ghana. The Greater Accra branch of the Ghana Union of Traders Association appreciated the fact that the crisis in China has negative impact on supply chain. It will have a serious impact on the supply chain, but traders have options on the table. If anything at all, Turkey is there, India is there. The things that we cannot manufacture here and we are bringing it from outside, I think these countries can help um, supply the traders in the country. Already, stocks and shares are down in China, and workers have been asked to stay home. The country plans to inject $173 billion into the Chinese economy after it comes out of the coronavirus. Traditionally, during the Chinese New Year holidays, factories are closed down for maintenance before production resumes in March, but the shutdown this time around could be extended. Those who have already made orders, I think we will urge our traders not to worry themselves of going to China for now. Urge our traders to abide by the directives government is giving and make sure that they use internet, they use the telephone to communicate with their counterparts over there so that the lockups money over there in terms of order can be shipped to Ghana without any problems. The situation in China could negatively impact Ghana's revenue mobilization from imports. In a direct impact, well, definitely it will have an impact in revenue generation. And then if you extend it to China, China will suffer a lot. From all the economic gains they've actually attained all these years, they will suffer and suffer well. Data analysis firm Information Handling Services, IHS Maquette, predicts the new coronavirus outbreak will be worse for the global economy than the 2003 SARS epidemic. IHS Maquette indicates China accounted for 4.2% of global economy in 2003, but now commands 16.3% of the world's GDP. Any slowdown in the Chinese economy analysts say will send shockwaves across the globe.